Much. Friends and the widow of a murdered Dallas police officer are pretty frustrated today that his killer is being taken off death row. Only on CBS 11, J.D. Miles talked to the officer's widow, but also explain to us, J.D., why the sentence has been commuted. What's going on? Doug, Officer Brian Jackson was shot and killed right here back in 2005, chasing Juan Lizcano, who had just been accused of domestic violence. Now, it took a jury back then only three hours to agree on a death sentence, but now, 12 years later, that punishment is being reduced over new concerns that Lizcano is intellectually disabled. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Joanne Jackson thought justice had been served when her husband Brian's killer was sentenced to death by a Dallas County jury. It's upsetting to me because a, a jury made this decision. In 2005, Dallas police officer Brian Jackson was shot and killed by Juan Lizcano while the domestic violence suspect was being pursued on foot through a neighborhood. His defense that he has an IQ below 70 and is intellectually disabled didn't work during his trial. But now that the Supreme Court has ruled Texas method for testing mental competency is outdated, the Dallas County District Attorney announced yesterday it could, quote, no longer oppose relief for Lizcano and commuted his sentence to life in prison. He knew what he was doing that night. Jackson's widow argues that a low IQ should not mean Lizcano, who was in the country illegally, did not know right from wrong. He showed up for work every day. He figured out how to buy a vehicle. He paid for that vehicle. He had friends. He had relationships. He went out with his friends. He socialized. He paid his bills. He was able to do all of that. Officers who worked with Jackson say the Supreme Court ruling sends a dangerous message. To me, as if I was defense attorney, it, it tells me, hey, all I got to prove is, is my client is not smart. And he's going to get off, or he's not going to pay the appropriate penalty. We are already told the Texas Department of Corrections is in the process of moving Liscano off death row, where he will have fewer restrictions, but will never be eligible for parole. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.